In continuation of my video, The Great Escape Sonnets Tunnel Harry, today I am back at Stalag Luf 3 here in Jagan, Poland. And I'm just making another video today. It is Saturday the 6th of November. And I'm very, very lucky with this good weather. It, it has enabled me to repaint most of the names down here on the Harry tablets, which I'm very, very pleased to say. I've even had time to go back to Germany for a few days and do a, a small bit of tree felling there and able to return to this good weather and continue with the names. Today I will show you uh, just how the names are painted. I've, I have a very good method of painting the names lying on a sponge board which makes it so much easier on your back. The first year I did the job uh, it was very very hard on my back and sciatic nerve as you can imagine. So I had to think of a way of doing this without so I could continue doing the job and get it done and I thought of the of lying on a board and it's worked out absolutely supremely. But I've just uh, started the video along the road there, the dramatic backdrop here to the uh, Tunnel Harry, the long distance sort of forest road here. We've sort of broken off from the main town of Jagan out here. So it's always good to show you these shots of exactly where we are. As you can see that I'm just on the road, just on the outside of Stalag Luf 3. Here's the exit here, as I showed you before. The Pa Adua Ad Astra um, tablet right there. And the Harry Memorial Stones. Uh, and the sign just there. And of course the big forest backdrop there that the escapers passed through on their way down to the Sargan station as it was known then because it was German territory. Okay, so it's a beautiful day down here today. Perfect for making a nice little video here. I'll just show you the tunnel line again and I'll just assemble the camera on the tripod and I'll paint a few names on the... I'm up to the Australians now and uh, I, I will paint for you uh, John Edwin Williams and Reginald Kerith. They were both close friends. There's the halfway station, Leicester Square. And just make my way down here back to the entrance of Tunnel Harry. Yeah, we've had a bit of rain over the last few days so I couldn't come back over here but I have painted there's the halfway station Piccadilly. I have uh, in fact painted uh, the majority of the names here. Uh, I started with the British because obviously most of the victims of the Great Escape were English then I ended up here with the New Zealanders. Uh, I've left a fern here in memory of the New Zealanders. Um, and two pine cones there and the plastic flowers which I normally bring with me just for a display, for display purposes. Uh, there's the Belgian uh, Picard. The end of the British names there. Right there, British. I'll just go back, make make a good shot for you here so you can really see the names. Bring it down close for you. Uh, South Africans, New Zealanders. I just use a typical metal paint for this job. Uh, 
normally hammerite. It's very good paint, good strong paint for this type of job. Um, but it works out very nicely. The blue names are the, uh, the, the, the men recaptured uh, and the black names are the men who succumbed to the Gestapo. I just underlined the British names there with the small piece of wood and highlighted Roger Bushell right there with the two pine cones, the uh, leader of the Great Escape, Roger Joyce Bushell. There's the Lithuanian Makinkis French Bernard Scheidhauer who went with Roger Bushell during the escape, a team together. And the Polish names right there. Polish names. I just moved past this piece here, this section here, because I thought it's best to get the names painted first and then come back uh, on that main piece there, The Great Escape is 24th, 25th, 3rd month, 1944. There's the Australians there. I've scraped out all of the names um, and just got going with Australia at the top there. And this is my prized sponge board lying face down upon a sponge trolley lying face down upon a wooden trolley like in my poem Our Way to Freedom but this is superb it's absolutely superb lying on this board because you don't get a bad back and it's very good for circulation uh, blood circulation you know in your legs when you're sitting on the tablets you, you get um, you know you get the uh, sore sciatic nerve and you know, you just stooped over when you get up, you almost collapse at times because you forget you're so busy doing your job down there and then when you get back up, you, you just can't believe what's going on, you nearly fall over and it's uh, very hard on your legs and, and your back. And I basically just couldn't really continue with the job because I thought, this is just no good to me, you know, so I have got to find a way of doing this. And I thought, well, lie down, man, you know, get your back straight, like everyone says, you keep your back straight, so that's what I did and it worked out very very well for me so I'll just put the camera back on the tripod now and show you uh, a bit of painting of the names so you can see that yeah what a wonderful day it is down here it's very calm and very calm and easy and uh, just ideal really for for what I'm doing here I'll just move the camera back a little wee bit there so you can see the full name Australia okay, but, uh, okay so I'll just paint a few of the names and you can just see see me painting the names and uh, that's a good thing. Okay. Okay, well, I will start with John Williams because you know what I've been talking about in the last videos about John Williams. And uh, I'm really pleased to have got to this point because I didn't even know whether I'd get this far really because my ba it was very very bad on my back. But I'll just show you the I'll just show you the painting of the name and how it's done. I'm just starting off with a new brush today because my other brush was a little bit worn out. But um, yeah, it works out really quite nicely. The brush I'm using is a 4mm brush and it's quite good for this actually, this scale of letter is perfect really. I was using it on the bigger, you know, the titles uh, also because it was a, you know, it was sort of easier really. I had a slightly thicker brush but it's a bit easier with the small one. Um, yeah. But, um, 
John Williams and Reginald Keirith right here. They were both close friends and I believe they played rugby together and um, yeah they were close friends and uh, they were both of the 450 Squadron, Royal Australian Air Force. Uh, Albert Hake, this man here, the Australian, he was responsible for making the compasses for the escape um, and he was uh, uh, affiliated with um, Des Plunkett, one of the English escapers, and Des Plunkett did the uh, maps and uh, Al Hake made the uh, compasses uh, for the escape which were made from uh, melted music records and um, he, he in fact actually magnetized a, a sewing needle for the pointer for the for the compass so it worked it worked very very well um, Albert Hake, uh, the was of the 72 Squadron. James Catanar, the 4th, 455 Squadron. Reginald Kerris, the 450 Squadron. John Edwin Williams, the 450 Squadron. And T. Lee, Thomas Lee, the 76 Squadron. Yeah. Well, it's a beautiful day down here at Stalaglyph 3. I've got the name started, so I'll nip up in a minute and just see how much time I've got on the video, because it runs for about 29 minutes. So I'll paint some of the name and you, so you can see that see how it's done here, and then I'll probably just sign off for you and say goodbye yet again. I will be doing another video uh, down at the exit uh, with my model, Model Timby, which is actually a full-length model of uh, Tunnel Harry, and it has a small house at the beginning which resembles Hut 104. A very nice model, in fact. I'll see if I can get a Spitfire to go with it sent from England and place that on the top. Uh, I have to get a uh, a cloth made for the top of the model actually just to go on the top of the box. It's sort of a custom made storage box and also a, a display uh, you know a display box also so it works out very nicely. I've had some stickers made for the side of it uh, you know showing the date of the Great Escape and a picture of the exit stone down there in the snow. Um, yeah, so it looks very, very, very nice. It's painted in a light grey and it has ends on it so that you know you can assemble the full length. I think when I, that I remember it's about eight feet long, the model. And um, that I remember, I think it's about eight feet. So it's quite a big model, but it looks very nice, and uh, I'll be very, very pleased to show you the model once uh, once I get the this lettering done. I have the Canadians to do next, and then the Norwegians and the Dutchman uh, Bram van der Stock, and also just this tablet here displaying the great escapers. Uh, once I've done that, then it'll all be finished, and um, and I'll do the next video with the with uh, the model model Timby. Yeah, so that'll be really good. But I'm very very lucky with this weather because it's been rainy and cold and uh, a bit hopeless really for anything down here. But it's turned out good today, and uh, oh, it's a pleasure to be down here and to paint these names, which really do need painting from time to time, and it's just a sad thing to see them 
get left to the wayside and um, just sort of go to nothing really, it's a pity really but for anybody who wishes to do this job, like I like doing this job, it's, it's you know it's not a job, it's a, it's a pleasure, it's an honour to do this. Um, you can always do this uh, job, like as you can see me doing it today, in, in complete comfort. Um, my back is fine. Uh, it takes your breath away a little wee bit from time to time, but you know, if you're a young guy and you're pretty fit and so on, you know, you, you, you've got a strong diaphragm, you'll be okay down here it's not it doesn't take your breath away well, like I said it takes your breath away but that's not a problem um, so there's the S and the M roughly done right there I'll check the camera in a minute just to see how much time time I've got I'll do a few more letters for you but what a pleasure it is to be painting the name of John Edwin Ashley Williams who I've been talking about in the other videos um, that's probably the reason why I'm down here doing this job because of my spiritual connection with John Williams um, I have been guided to, to do this you know uh, also the book that I've written The Great Escape uh, 50 Parodies uh, in memory of well in fact it's based on Paul Brickell's The Great Escape uh, it's got sonnets in there and you know I've picked out uh, sections of the book and I've sort of enhanced um, Paul Brickell's sense of humour and it's all poetic, it reads poetically so it's really quite nice to read it's, it's amusing, I, I shouldn't laugh at my own jokes but it's not actually jokes, it's just uh, put together as a parody from the original work of um, Paul Brickell so it's um, it's very very good I think Paul Brickell would be pleased with what I've done because I've enhanced his uh, his sense of humor and, uh, and 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 made good of, of of his material so I'm very very pleased with that it was my brother in fact in New Zealand who told me that Paul Brickell had a very good sense of humour so I thought well I can make good of that and uh, you know uh, enhance that and um, and you know make a nice job of it and just and also blend it in in a, in a poetic write it in a poetic uh, manner so it turned out very very good the book has photography also of the 70th ceremony which was down here, the exit just down there at Tunnel Harry and um, sonnets I have more, so I have actually the PDF has actually just been modified a little bit lately and I have added some extra sonnets to the to the book um, some more photography uh, photographs over at the Jagan train station um, you know showing the platforms over there and some more pho photography down here in the snow in the winter and it's got everything really now the book has got absolutely everything it's very very good I'm really really pleased with it so I should be getting some more copies printed soon um, the PDF is the last version of the PDF soon and um, you know it should be it should be uh, perfect for printing and uh, I'll get some more books printed off typically 50 I suppose you could say to start with and uh, see how it all goes from there but god I'm really lucky with this weather today it's perfect down here not too hot when you get the hot weather in the summer you get the the bugs you know and it's pretty hard on you, you know, you need a sun umbrella down here in the summertime, it's, oh, there's a little wee in insect there, but um, you know, it's a bit hard on you in the, in, the, in the summertime so you need to really do it, I guess in September or late September or just like I did, I just, I've just scraped it in here probably 
end of October, November, you know, it's a little bit late doing it now really, but it's ideal, the weather conditions for what I'm doing down here are just absolutely perfect, you know, so I'm lucky with that. I'll nip up in a second and I'll just have a look and see how much time I've got on the video and maybe just call it a day and just uh, sign off but at least I've shown you the method that I'm using lying on this nice sponge board which is really a pleasure very very easy anybody could could be down here doing this you don't have to be a full-blown artist or anything of that nature basically I'm just filling in the the carving here on the stones which is a straightforward job uh, it's always uh, I'm doing this voluntarily so you know I, I don't mind doing that it's a good thing to do and I'm not too far away I'm in the town of uh, Jari so traveling over here isn't too much of a problem um, you know it's not a problem I'll just nip up and see how much time I have on the video come back down and do a few bit more okay well I have about seven minutes 30 seconds left here so I'll just do one more letter and then I'll nip back up there and uh, switch off the video um, but uh, yeah it's it's uh, I'm very very pleased to to be here doing these names uh, it's very important. If anyone else, if I'm not here to do it, I would, in, I would uh, um, wish that somebody else would follow in my own footsteps and continue with what I'm doing here too. Maybe someone younger than me. In fact, it's quite a privilege because because I've just turned 50, and that's quite an ideal age to be down here in relation to the Great Escape. John Edwin Ashley Williams, um, you know, and my own age, but you know, time goes by and youth is always a good thing, so, you know, if someone's young out there who likes doing this type of thing or wishes to, you know, to, to, to partake in something like this, you can feel free to do so, there's no restrictions really, the, the, the council won't intervene and and stop you in your activities as long as you do a good job I'm sure they won't intervene and cause any problem for you yeah okay well I suppose that's about it for today um, I'll just sign off now and uh, touch up a little bit touch touch these letters up a little bit that I've done I've just done them pretty quickly for you here just so you can see it but uh, yeah, it's turning out really nicely and I'm very, very happy with the job here at Starlog Wolf 3, Tunnel Harry, in memory of the 50 men who died uh, by the Gestapo uh, in the Great Escape. Okay, well thank you very much for watching the video today and I'll make another video soon down there at the exit with uh, model Timby and you can have a look at a really nice model and hopefully in an, on a very nice day like today. Thank you very much. Goodbye.